Hi there, I'm Amber Coates. And I'm Daniel Kemp. And this is The Weekly Fix. Broadcasting live online at sparksunderland.com. The Weekly Fix will broadcast live online every week at 6 o'clock. Here at Spark, we're exclusively Sunderland, so we'll be bringing you all of the latest news from your local area. Coming up this week, we'll be bringing you news on Nissan's latest eco-friendly electric vehicle, the Leaf. We'll be sharing with you the moment that well-known athlete Steve Cram announced the arrival of new 10km race to Sunderland. We'll also be giving you the lowdown on the Conservatives' big society policy. And I'll be here with Lucy Dawlish, who has been nominated for a very prestigious award. Last Thursday, a number of specially selected people drove away with a brand new Nissan Leaf on a six-month test drive. Lewis Hallam visited the Nissan factory to find out more. from the Nissan Sunderland plant after the 15 minute presentation in their new leave for a six month trial period where they would test the car for long term usage. Some of the members who drove away that day included five individuals and representatives from major northeast businesses and three local authorities. Um, the handover of this uh, Nissan Leaf vehicle marks a major milestone in the Switch EV uh, demonstrator project. Uh, so following the start of customer deliveries in the UK this week, uh, the people here today will be some of the first in Europe to drive the Nissan Leaf, which was the 2011 um, European Car of the Year. And we'll use the vehicle as part of their own car for the first six months. This will give them some experience and also they'll be able to report on life using the electric car, which will be very useful for ourselves to understand. So we believe that the EVs are the ultimate solution to, the, to reduce uh, CO2 emissions and to ensure a sustainable future. Uh, together with our alliance partner Renault, we plan to be a leader in zero emissions and to meet that goal uh, we are investing up to 4 billion euros to develop and produce electric vehicles and batteries at plants around the world. The Switch EV project is one of eight UK projects supported by the Technology Strategy Board's £25 million pounds ultra low carbon vehicles demonstrator programme and is aimed at accelerating the widespread adaption of electric vehicles in the UK. We're especially pleased to have Lease in the trial because they represent the state of the art of electric vehicles at the moment. And these are going to be some of the very first vehicles that we have on the roads in the UK. In the coming weeks, we'll be handing over a total of 49 electric vehicles to be driven on the roads by members of the general public. The trial is funded by Technology Strategy Board and One North East, and their objectives are to understand how electric vehicles will be driven and how they'll integrate with our lives when we try to drive them and charge them. It's an important facet of the trial that we understand how the cars perform, how suitable people find them for their daily transport needs, and how people actually get on with the regular recharging. Matt Dixon is a teacher in the North East. He tells us just how excited he is to be receiving a car. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's a chance to be involved in the, the cutting edge of uh, motor technology. Uh, and I'm doing a little bit for the environment as well. It's a, the start, really. I think it's, uh, it's going to take some time to take off because they're not quite like an ordinary car. There's uh, quite a lot to them. Um, and the infrastructure isn't quite there yet. So it's going to take some time, but it is the start. So will the Nestan Leaf prove a success? We'll know in six months. This is Lewis Hallam reporting for Spark News. For more on this story, head on over to sparksunderland.com for that and other news stories by our team of journalists. You can also find out more about Spark magazine. For the very first time, Sunderland will be hosting a 10km run. We attended the opening press conference to find out what it's all about. Well, I've been launching the 
uh, Sunland City 10K, um, building on events that have been here in the past, but this is very much an event which is for the city, you know, about the city, in the city. Um, and June 26th, it's going to be held right in the middle of the summer. Hopefully, we're going to get lots of people who've either run before or particularly people who maybe haven't done a, an event like this before to come and take part and make it a big day out. It'll be a fabulous course and I hope fabulous day as well. <clears throat> have had events here in the past which have shown that people do want to come and take part in events like this, but we really do want to encourage, if you haven't done anything like this, to get people uh, to come along and enjoy what should be a fabulous day. The room will take uh, in some of the most fantastic landmarks and scenery, including obviously the stadium on the right uh, and our fantastic coastline, line, which is the uh, Mark and Long by everyone who comes here. For next year, the plans are, you know, there's a lot of people who have done a 10k, next year we'll be adding a marathon in and actually create a weekend where we have a series of events which people can pick and choose, if you like, which one they want to do. It's building on the success you've had in the past and all sorts of events you've held here. Uh, but this one is really about some of them, and it is you know, the Summit City 10K, and so we're delighted to be able to um, be here working with you to make it all work. We've got some mile events on as well for youngsters, um, who, for whom 10K is a little bit too far. But um, hopefully, as I said, it'll be, it'll be a great day. Plus, Stephen here have had lots of experience in the organisation and delivery of, uh, and the marketing of uh, major sporting events, and I speak on behalf of everyone in the council, and I say we really are delighted to be uh, working in close partnership with the of them. We've been working on this for about uh, three, four months, so it's a bit of a, bit of a, um, a steep learning curve, if you like, not in terms of knowing what we're doing, but just to get everything lined up and ready to make sure the event went ahead for this year, um, and also bearing in mind the plans for next year. So um, it's, it's been great, everyone's come together really well. We've got a great partnership with the university, with the football club, city council, businesses in Sunderland as well. So hopefully with everybody pulling together, we'll make it a big success. Whenever you kind of say you want to do something like this, everybody kind of wants to join in and get involved. So I'm really delighted that the university, uh, the football club, many of the uh, businesses around Sunderland have already given us great support and we'll continue to do so. So I'm going to thank all of them as well. We've got some students from the university seen here today. They're going to have a big part to play in organising the event as well. We really want to try and get as many people involved in making the event a big success. Well, I think what you're trying to do is to say that, that you know, that it's a city where things happen, you know, and a city like Sunderland should have its own big running events. It should have, you know, we've got the pop concerts, we've got the air show, we, we should have lots of things going on. And this kind of adds to that portfolio. It's an event for the people of the city, but also an event which hopefully tells people who don't know much about Sunderland that it's, that it's a great place to, to come and visit and, and where, as I said, where big...